Hello and welcome to this session on Robot Framework Beginner Tutorial and today we are going to see how can we run our robot test cases from Jenkins. So we are going to go very basic step by step and we will look at how to create a job in Jenkins. We will then add the robot framework plugin in Jenkins and then we will configure our robot framework test in Jenkins and we will see how can we see the reports in Jenkins and we will run and validate our test cases in Jenkins. Towards the end of this session we will also look at some useful tips. So let's get started and step number one is we have to download Jenkins from the internet. So let us go to our browser and you can just say download Jenkins and you will get this site Jenkins.io. Go here and if you hit download you will get this section and we will take the jenkins.war here so you can click here and it will download the jenkins.war file for now i will cancel this download because i already have it so let me go to my jenkins.war file and you can see this is the jenkins.war file now what you have to do is you have to go to the command line and go to this location where your jenkins.war file is one of the shortcuts is if you go to the address bar on windows and say cmd and hit enter it will directly open the command line on that location so here you will see you can write here java hyphen jar and the file name which is jenkins.war and if you press enter here it will open Jenkins on the default port which is 8080 but in case you want to open Jenkins on a different port you can say minus minus HTTP port equals any port so I will say 9191 and now you can hit enter so this will start our Jenkins server on port 9191 so let us go to our browser and now here you can open Jenkins by saying localhost and the port number so in our case it is 9191 and hit enter so this should open our Jenkins and the, here it is also you can say in place of localhost you can give the IP 127.0.0.1 and the port number which is 9191 now 127.0.0.1 is the IP for localhost so localhost or this IP is one and the same thing and it will again go to our Jenkins and you can give the username password and login and just in case if you are completely new to Jenkins and uh, you are facing any issues you can go to my YouTube channel so you can go to YouTube and the channel automation step by step and here you will find a playlist so if you go to the playlists and look at all the playlists you will find a playlist for Jenkins here so this is the playlist for Jenkins Docker and would be here you can find all the videos for Jenkins so if you are getting started with Jenkins you can watch the first session and you will know everything about Jenkins so this is how you can start Jenkins also you can start Jenkins by some uh, by the IP of your system for example if you go to your command line and say IP config it will show you your IP so in my case this is the IP you can copy this and again if you go to your browser and give this IP and say 9191 or whatever the port number you have it will again start your Jenkins so these are different ways of starting Jenkins and in my case you will see there are already some jobs because I have already created some other jobs now here step number two is you have to start Jenkins which we have already done and step number three is you have to add robot framework plugin in Jenkins so for that what we are going to do is 
if you go to your Jenkins and if you go to manage Jenkins and here you will find manage plugins click here and here you have these different tabs updates available installed advanced go to the available tab and here in the filter say robot and you will see this is the robot framework plugin in the search just click here and say installed without restart or you can also download and install so I am selecting install without restart so this is successful and now if you go back to your dashboard so we have now robot framework plugin added to Jenkins and now we have to create a job so we have to create job to run robot framework tests so go to here new item and here you can give any name so I am saying here robot test job or just robot test should be fine a freestyle project and say ok and this should give you your job created and here we will configure this job so here what we have to do is if you go down and if you go to the build step you can select add build steps and in case you are on windows you will select execute windows batch command and in case you are on mac you can say execute shell so i am on windows i will say execute windows batch command and here you have to give the command to run your robot framework test cases so this we have already seen in our last session how can we run our robot framework test cases from command line so in case you have not watched that please go and watch that session so here i will directly put the commands to run the robot framework test cases let me also open my ride to see the test cases i have so i am saying ride.py it should open the ride editor and yes and this is the test suite that we have been creating in our earlier session it has these five test cases so let us run some of these so what I'm going to do is I have to first go to the directory of my project so my project is in this directory this is my project I will just copy this location so I will say C colon so that in case it is on any other directory it will come to C and then change directory to this location and now I will say the command to run the test cases which is robot minus T results so I want to put all the results in a single folder called results and I can say test suite 1.txt which is my test suite file test suite 1.txt and this will run all the test cases so to just to save time I will just run test 3 so I am saying minus t test 3 and test 4 so of course all these options and commands we have seen in our last session so this command should run test 3 and test 4 from our test suite and now if you go to the post build actions here you will see an option to publish robot framework test results and this option you will get only after you have added the robot framework plugin so just click here and here it is asking us to give the directory of the output where the results will be published so in our case we have we are sending all the results to the results folder so you can give this location here you can give like this the other thing that you can do is if you give this project location up to here 
inside your inside your general section if you go to the advanced there is a section use custom workspace so if you click here you can give the custom workspace and I am giving the location of my project the robot project here and now what I can do is in this section post build action and the location where I have to give the path for robot output I can just delete this because I have already given this above and I can only keep results here so this will be handy in case I change this location I will only have to change here okay and now you can go to advanced and you can give the name of your output XML report HTML and log HTML files in case you are using any different names but in our case we are not uh, using any different names it is by default log.html output.xml and report.html whatever the robot framework creates so we can just leave this also if you want to copy any other files for example the screenshot files etc you can give it here and then this is the section for threshold so if you want to give some threshold value for example at this particular percentage level the job should be marked as pass or fail you can give that also you can hit on this question mark sign and it will give you the details of what does this mean so as of now I will keep this as empty and say apply and save and now you can build this project and I am clicking on build now so this will run our project so you can see this is running and also you can see the logs and the console output here as well so it is starting test 3 and 4 and it is done so you can go back to the project and now you can see the robot results here here are the robot results and you can also see it here as well so if you click on this robot results you will get all these details the execution time the duration the status so there were two critical tests one passed and one failed and then all this reports as well and here you can see the graphs here so you can see one pass and one fail if you want to see only failed ones you can filter here only critical ones and also you can select the number of builds that you want to see for example if you just want to see some particular build or two builds or three builds you can give the number here as well okay as of now we just have a single build so let it be all and then you can see the duration and trend here and then the fail test cases and test suite so if you click here it will show you only the fail test cases and the message so it becomes very handy to troubleshoot it will also show you how many times it failed if you click here it will take you to this section which will show you the pass fail percentages and then you have a section for test suite if you click here it will again show you all these test cases that were inside the test suite and you can click on a particular test case to see its report okay also you have this report.html you can click here and in case you are getting this issue your report is not opening so let us go and say Jenkins content security policy so there are some security policies so if you go here uh, you will find this configure security policy in Jenkins let us go and you can see the default rule is set to something else and in case we want to unset the header we have to use this so I am just copying this and I will also make it available in the notes and all the notes will be available below the description of this video and I'm just copying this and you can go to your Jenkins and if you go to manage Jenkins and here you will have a option for script console just go here 
and paste it and run it here and you should find this result displayed if this is displayed that means your uh, script is successful now let me go back to my project robot test and robot results and let me see now okay so I think we will have to run our uh, project once again so let us run the project again build now and let us also see the console output and it is done let us go back to the project go to robot results and yes now it is showing the report here okay so this is how you can fix this issue we can also see the logs and we can also see the original result files you will see all these again here so this is how you can run this and let us also uh, go back to our project and say configure and here uh, let me also add one more test case just so that we can see some better reports I am adding test 5 also here and say apply and save and build now so this also opens the browser and I think this is done and see if you see the results now you can see this is the build number this is build 1 build 2 and after build 2 you can see in build number 3 because we had 3 test cases out of which 2 passed and 1 failed you can see the graph changing here and similarly the duration trend you can see here and then the failed test cases and the test suite okay so let me also write it down So step number 5 will be run and validate okay so let us look at some useful tips one of the useful tip I have already shown you that in case you are not getting the HTML inside your Jenkins you have to go to your script console within manage Jenkins and run this in the script and if you see the results then if you run the next job it should show your result HTML uh, also if you want to see the graphs per test cases you can go here so if you go to your robot results and go at the bottom and go to test suite here if you go down you can see the particular test cases that you have got executed and if you click on any of this you will see the graph for only that particular test cases and what you can also do is you can change the builds here so if you want to see the results only for one or two builds so you can see the entire trend here similarly for duration you can do that the other tip is if you uh, go to your project and go to configure and here inside this post build actions you can also use wild characters so like you star.xml star dot report or any other wildcard characters so you can use this so you do not have to worry if your name changes it will still pick it up okay so this is how you can run your robot framework jobs in Jenkins and also you can configure the robot framework plugins and look at the results directly in Jenkins I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching